All right, this is the Algebra 2 EOC practice test, question number 26. It reads, the graph shows average monthly precipitation data for Spokane, Washington, and Bakersfield, California. And as you can tell, we got a nice pretty little graphic in here. And the question is, which statement about the data shown is true? So let's take a look at our choices. Spokane has a greater range of precipitation values than Bakersfield. Well, the first thing we've got to look at is what is domain and what is range? And one thing I like to say is always follow the doctor order. And that would be D and R, which is X and Y. And since we're looking for range, we're looking at the Y values. So let's find our greatest value for Spokane, which happens to be this point up here. And Bakersfield's highest point is about right here. And if we notice our range, this is about 1, and this is a little more than 2.5, which gives us a range of approximately 1.5. Well, G says Bakersfield receives its greatest amount of precipitation in December. Well, if we're looking at Bakersfield in December, we are way nowhere near the greatest amount. So it can't be G. And then H says Bakersfield has the greater annual average precipitation than Spokane. Well, if we notice greater average, if we look from our lowest to our highest point, that's a pretty wide range. But if we look at Bakersfield, it's not spread out as much. So there's not a greater percentage. And then if we look at J, Spokane receives the greatest amount of precipitation in January. Well, looking at Spokane, it's not the highest number. December is. So by process of elimination, F is our answer. So anytime you're working problems like that, it's always good to go through and check all of your answers just basically by just looking at the graph and seeing what's going on. So thank you and good luck. Okay, I, going back to this question, I just thought of a different way to explain H for the annual average precipitation. If you look at your graph, we see that Spokane, every single, almost every single point in Spokane is higher than Bakersfield which just by looking at that, if every point is higher, then its average rank precipitation is going to be higher than the other one. So that would be a better way to look at that than trying to look at what I explained earlier, which is range, which probably confused half the people since we talked about range earlier. So hope that helps.